got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine. Today we are tackling the main areas of my home. I wanted to do a quick and easy clean with me. This is what I do when I have a break from my work day for about an hour or when I have a lunch, like really anytime I have where my kid is napping, my youngest because he is in everything. I cannot film with him up because he grabs my tripod and almost breaks my camera every time. And he has actually broken my lens and it took three weeks to get my camera back and I had to use my iPhone for a while. But he is asleep. I am having an, a lunch break kind of at work and I'm going to get through and clean this. It is actually broken up throughout the day, but you don't see that. I am actually cleaning my kitchen during my lunch break and then everything else is done before I go pick up my son. Okay, like I said, we are going to be getting into this video. There is tons of cleaning motivation. I spent quite a bit of time in my kitchen today cleaning it and deep cleaning it and just getting what I can done. So my best suggestion for maintaining your home is to set timers or it is to every hour take five to ten minutes and pick up something just throughout the day break it up and get what you can done if you work all day eight to five or seven to seven or whatever I would try to when you get home after you eat dinner and you're exhausted I know it sucks but try to do at least 10 to 20 minutes a night of just picking up and tidying up. That will help you so much throughout the day or when you do come home to not coming home to a messy house. And if you do this and you also have children, have them help while you're at work. When they get out of school, have them do dishes, have them pick up what they can, have them help you at night with putting away toys. That is what I try to do. I make my little ones turn it into a game and we get that kind of stuff picked up and we all help out. But again, sorry, this is the beginning of my video and I'm giving you guys so many tips. It's just I wanted to make sure I got that in before we started today. So you guys know that no one is perfect and no one's house is perfect all the time. We all have to rotate. We all have to clean daily, especially if you have children. So let's get into this video and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are new here. It's the big red button below. My channel is all about maintaining and keeping an organized home while having busy schedules. We are all super busy with our everyday lives and don't always have the time to clean so that's what I am trying to emanate through my channel is to show you guys that no one is perfect and we can do this together but all right let's get into cleaning this kitchen so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking out my filter because I noticed when I was about to reload my dishwasher that it smelled like really badly and I needed to take everything out and clean it so what I did was took distilled vinegar and some water and I put it in a mug and then I'm going to put it on the top rack and then you're going to see in a second I take my filter out of here and it is just disgusting. I don't even have words for it because I never thought to clean it before. Like I don't know why it never came to mind because you clean every other filter in your house but my dishwasher filter I totally forgot and you can see how gross it is. But I'm just going to take that and run underneath the sink and then I use Dawn Power Wash to kind of scrub it a little bit and it gave it a good smell. And then I just put it back in and then I run my dishwasher on the sanitized cycle with the highest heat setting and I start it and it will make this smell so much better. <laughs> the mood to be right keeping the low in the night yeah okay so i'm going to take this method granite cleaner which i love the smell of this granite cleaner it is so nice and it really does get my countertops clean and then i'm just going to take a microfiber cloth that's damp and wipe down my counters so long since i get a glimpse of a light it's blurring out my eyes oh, oh we should open up a window Yours if you need a friend, yeah, yeah. Fake one, it's the 
Playing until the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend Ah, uh, ah, uh, tell me how do I get inside Ah, uh, ah, uh, open up your mind Ah, uh, ah, uh, and this I know how to win a fight To win a fight Cause it's just my habit I can't describe it happens where I notice something that needs cleaned or emptied so I am just going to take some Clorox Lysol wipes or whatever you call them the antibacterial wipes and wipe them down my trash can I had this made in a country store in Pennsylvania while we were visiting family and I love it to hide it from the dogs and it makes the trash can look so much better but it does get dirty so I have to pretty regularly wipe this thing out and clean the outside of it and just make sure it's all good so that there's not food running down and into this bin. This is also my e-cloth set. It's meant for stainless steel and the polishing rag. It makes my stainless steel looking really shiny and like it's brand new and I love that there's no fingerprints on it because my kids seem to touch this thing everywhere and just get stuff all over it. It looks atrocious so I had to clean it. I know that it's getting cold The waves are crashing in When the streams are getting strong Just hold on to me, yeah I'm your light out of the sun Against your dark clouds I will always be your guiding light I just used my Mrs. Meyers Vinegar Cream Cleanser for the top of my stove top and for these tough stains around like the burners that you can get with an electric flat glass stove top, I just take a razor blade. I get these ones from the Dollar Tree and they come in these six like packs and they have these handles on them and they're just so easy and you can throw them away and you can cover the blades so your kids can't hurt themselves. But I'm going to use that to kind of lightly go over and get any of the hard caked on food or just anything that might have been sticking to the burners before I wipe this off with my microfiber cloth. Now that my dishwasher is finally done running on the sanitize cycle, I'm going to take this water out, dump it, and then I'm going to finally get to load my dishwasher. I'm going to wipe out the dishwasher before I do that. 
and get the dishes done but I'm just happy that it finally doesn't smell because I do this trick mostly with my microwave to get rid of smells. I'll either use essential oils or vinegar to help with smells in the microwave, but I never thought to do this in my dishwasher and I'm actually really happy that I did. You can also buy the pods. I know Grove Collaborative has the pods, but that you just throw in and run on like a cleaning cycle. You can do the same thing with your washer up to you but I like to go the all natural route because I feel like my kids are eating off this I don't know Grove Collaborative probably has a natural product that you can use as well but this just works so well is done because my kitchen is not clean without the dishes cleaned up at least drying they can lay on my counter drying but they have to be clean dishes <laughs> I'm going to actually clean my dog's water dish because it is a continuous water filter kind of thing and it was starting to grow like mold from it sitting in the water so I wanted to make sure that everything was cleaned off and everything was good to go for them and for their safety and their health so I was just cleaning this up really quick for any of you wondering what this is that I'm cleaning on my counter, it's always sitting up here. It is actually an outdoor 
like fence for my dog so they get these collars on and if they go outside the boundary that it's an invisible boundary kind of deal so you don't have to run wires or anything you'll be able it keeps them in the yard and keeps them from digging in our backyard but that's why I have it here and of course as soon as I say this my dogs walk in on my voiceover but that is life I don't walk my dogs in the cage when I'm cleaning I don't lock them in their room when I'm home so yes you can hear them half the time in my videos or see them a lot Nobody gets me I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction I'm looking for someone to show me the way When my map is torn up Give me a light when my torch is blown out Let me escape from my hideaway I give up all of my little addictions But I'm still stuck with some tough decisions In my next video, I will be tackling this rug. I finally got the belt. However, it turned into this huge project. If you're not following me on Instagram, you don't know what happened. But it was a disaster and for months I couldn't clean it because my belt and my rug scrubber or my carpet cleaner broke. So I had to figure it out and this was a really bright white rug and you can see stains and spots for my dogs and my kids. For me not being able to clean it and just use what I can find at this point. And it was so bad like you have to wait for the next video to come out to see what I'm talking about. But... I ended up having to move this rug out of here because of how bad it got from being in the living room. So I will find another place for it and I'm excited to show you guys where I ultimately end up with putting it. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that will be in the next video. So make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you guys here. Again, my channel is really all about homemaking. Anything about making a house a home is all me because we are military. We move so often. I have little time to make the house feel great for us. And that's why I do DIY projects. I like investing in our house because I would like someone else to come in here and make it their own and add to what we've already done. Or if they don't like it, they can take it down. So I try to do things that are semi-permanent, not always like paint colors. I think about resale. That's why my bonus daughter's room when we remodeled her room and did the makeover videos a while back on my channel they were she has a pink wall a bright pink wall and I was like we are not painting all four walls because I'm not repainting when we move <laughs> but that's why we did that and I just wanted to let you guys know that I do appreciate you guys for staying and continuing to watch my channel and grow with me here I am still trying to figure out my camera issues I do apologize for that I don't know why it does this and this camera was so highly recommended so I don't know why I'm having issues I just don't know so I am still trying to figure that out for you guys and I again I appreciate you and make sure you do turn on that notification bell because sometimes YouTube has the tendency not to let you know when I upload and in this week it's been crazy busy for me so I'm just trying to get out as many videos as I can and I appreciate you guys again and I'll get back to cleaning I know you want me to shut up now so I'm going to but just wanted to give you guys a heads up for next video. I gave up all of my little addictions, but I'm still stuck with some tough decisions, yeah. Now I'm up against the wall, and I'm looking for your attention. I do have the Animal V7 Dyson cordless. I actually like mine. However, the battery dies really quickly. I would love to try the Hoover Blade vacuum or the LG vacuum. I even saw a Shark cordless vacuum that I'd like to try that has like a bendable feature. I was looking into all of these. I eventually will buy a new one or hopefully if a sponsorship hears this <laughs> will send me one to do. I would love to do that as well. But 
I am just waiting until my Dyson kicks the bucket. I do like my Dyson for hardwood floors. However, I do not like it for carpet because the suction power isn't that great unless you have it on max and you can only do one room for me anyway if I have it on max. That's why I like my Shark Apex Uplight, the corded vacuum. It's so powerful and and it just, it's, I can't even say how enough about it. I love that vacuum. It picks up everything. It really gets into my carpets. But my Dyson is great for area rugs and just out here, you know. I'm sure if you have a Dyson or a cordless vacuum, you love using it. More of as like an broom fashion. That's what I say. You just go over your floors really quick and you're done. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy I decided today, I know I normally use Tide Powder in my O-Seed or Spin Mop because I absolutely love using this method, but I decided to use my Mr. Clean solution because I do use it in my Bissell Crosswave when I use that, and I've used that many times in my other videos if you haven't seen that. But I do love this O Cedar Spin Mop. It is just amazing. I feel like it really gets my floors clean and I can use it on my trim, which makes me even happier. Like it's a catch all, it's a two in one kind of deal. I love it. And it does have the separate dirty and water buckets. And I just feel like it's so easy. I, I really do like it. I'm not a big mopping person. And I know some of us are the same way. I absolutely hate vacuuming and then going back and mopping. Like I feel like it defeats the purpose. But there are some days where I'm just like, I really want to get a deep deep clean and I feel like this gives it and I love the feeling after you mop like oh your house is so clean and smells fresh so I'm going to be doing that in this video Make me believe it. Don't wanna hear it. I want to see you see how rewind when we rewind feel so nice we time That brings us to the end of this video. I know it was a little bit more faster paced than my normal videos. I wanted it to be quicker than my other videos. I was trying to kind of try out new things here on my channel. I really did take a long time on my kitchen, but it was a while since I really deep cleaned it and I needed it done. But I did get that done and I appreciate you guys who stuck with me to the end. I would love for you to comment below and leave me something encouraging below or tell me about your day. I would love to hear from you guys in my comments. And if you are new here, remember to hit that big red subscribe button below on my channel. We are all about homemaking. Like I said, we are making this house at home. I love DIY projects, recipe ideas, healthy eating, as well as workout motivation. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm all about working out. And then I love to clean and organize my home as much as I can with having three children, working full time and going to college. It can be very hard to keep up and maintain your own home. But I am here to help and I hope that these videos are helping you. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see or things I can change so that you like my videos a little bit more, I would love to hear from you guys below. I love the positive feedback or even negative feedback done in a nice way, if that makes sense. I don't want to be ripped apart, but I would love to hear how I can better my experience here for you guys and show you guys how to clean certain things or how I do it, how I rotate my schedules, any of that. Just let me know. But all right, I will see you guys back in my next video and I appreciate you guys again so much.